Welcome to ChristianFighterShops.com. Today we're going to be doing a short 15 minute tutorial and it's going to be on how to create this image right here. This is a made from scratch background with a realistic looking wall with wallpaper and a realistic looking floor with um, wooden texture. So this only takes about 15 minutes. It is all from scratch. You do not need any additional tools other than Photoshop. So let's go and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and start and open up a new canvas. Go to File and New. Width is going to be 3000. Your height is going to be 3000. Resolution is going to be 300. And let's go ahead and draw a quick sketch of what we're trying to do. So this is going to be the wall. I'll fill that with a grayish color. And then below that we're going to have the floor. And then to divide the two, the floor and the wall, we're going to have a piece of white wooden molding. And that's going to go about right there. And I'll go ahead and fill that with white. Okay, so that's our basic outline. And we'll work on each individual part one at a time. Let's go ahead and start working on the background, which is the wall. Create a new layer. Change it to white. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And we're going to do about 65%, actually we'll do about, let's do about 50% noise. So now you have a white background with some gray and black noise. Go to filter, go to um, stylize, click on emboss, and do your height of 6, and then your amount will go up to about 50, and then your angle we can do about 130 to 140. Click OK. All right, so there's our texture for the wall, but now we need some color for the wall. So go and create a new layer. You can fill it to white. Go to your effects. Click on gradient overlay. And go ahead and change your angle back to that 130 that we did earlier with the uh, emboss. And for the back, for the wall, you can choose any color you want. I'm going to go with a kind of a faded white, kind of a yellowish color. So our white... Our, our bright color of the gradient is going to be just kind of a off-white yellowish color like this. All right, the color I've got is DED3BA. Click OK. And then your dark color is going to be the same type of color, but just a little bit darker. So we'll do about... About right there. And that one is 877D6E. So click OK. Click OK. And we actually want the light to be at the top. So go ahead and click Reverse. All right, so now we have our, our wall background. This is the color. And then remember, we have our emboss, our noise. So let's go ahead and make sure that's above the color layer and change it to Overlay. And now you can see that our wall has some color to it. All right, so there's our wall texture, and now let's go ahead and work on the floor texture. Create a new layer. You can fill it to white. That's fine. Um, make sure your foreground and background are black and white, and go ahead and go to um, Filter, go to Render, Clouds. So that gives us a uh, just an abstract picture of white and black and gray clouds. And then what we're going to do with that is go to... Um, pixelate filter, pixelate, click on mosaic, and then change your cell size to about 140. Click OK. And now create a new layer on top of that. You can fill it, uh, whatever you want. Black is fine. And we're going to do the color for the wood, and the color for the wood is going to be a dark brown and a light brown. So go ahead and pick out a dark brown for your foreground and then your background could be a dark brown also but just a little bit lighter than the first one okay so I just got a dark brown and a light brown there and once you have those colors in your foreground and background go to filter go to render and then fibers and you can play around with the numbers here or just leave it whatever its default is click OK and there's our wood texture so there's the color and then right below it, we have this. So click on your color, click Overlay. And that doesn't look good right there, but what we're going to do is on your 
little grid pattern, your mosaic. Click on that and go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and then change your Motion Blur to about a thousand. Click OK. And to bring out the panels a little bit better, go ahead and create an adjustment layer above that and make it Levels. Clip it to your layer. And then just bring the blacks in and then take the whites out just a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now we have a little bit more definition of the wood panels right there. So you can play around with it, whatever looks good. Um, I think that looks fine for what we're going for. Um, go ahead and merge all those layers together. This is going to be this is going to be our floor layer. Once you have that like that, go ahead and pull this down. Remember our um, draft we made earlier. Go ahead and pull this down to that size. Okay, and then go to Edit, Transform, Perspective. You can zoom out a little bit. And then once you have the perspective on, just grab one of these bottom corners and just pull it out. Maybe about like that, maybe about 70 degrees or so. All right. All right, so we've got our we've got our wall background with the texture. We've got our wooden texture for the floor. And the last thing we've got to do is create the wooden uh, white paneling that goes right down here. So you've already created a white rectangle. We can go ahead and use that one. Go to Effects, go to Gradient Overlay, and instead of black to white, um, we're going to do a the color of the wall, which is that kind of brownish, yellowish color. Choose that as your dark color. Actually, you can go a little bit lighter. Click OK. And then instead of white, you can choose the wall color again, but go just slightly darker than white. So about like that. And actually, we're going to make this even darker. Okay. It's like that. Click OK. Click OK. And now right click this layer and do rasterize layer style and then duplicate it. Okay. So now you've got two of these layers on top of each other. You can go ahead and zoom in. Pull your top layer down and you're going to make it about a quarter the size of the one on top. So about like that. Click the check mark. You can zoom back out. And there is your wood paneling that goes on the bottom. All right. Next thing we're going to do, create a layer on top of everything else. And all you're going to do is go to your gradient tool. Make sure it's on the radial. And we're going to do black to transparent and reverse. And then all we're going to do is just drag a circle right here in the center. And it's going to paint black edges on on all the corners. And then you can lower your transparency just a little bit. Like that. Okay. Alright, now what we're going to do is go ahead and create a wallpaper, just a striped wallpaper for the background. And what we're going to do is go and create a new layer. And use your selection tool and just draw a line about the width that you would like the wallpaper to be. And I think about like that will be fine. Fill that to black. Okay, so now we have a black line right there. And now click on your layer, hit do control and click until it selects it. And then go to edit, define brush preset, and we'll just call this wallpaper line. Okay, and then you can delete that layer right there. So now what we have is more or less, we have a brush that creates lines. Just like that. And so what we'll do is use our, let's see, let's, 
we'll use our brush tool, your, or your brush presets, and just go down here to the bottom and change your spacing. So now it spaces them out like that. And what we'll do is we'll probably space it about like that, about 180, 180%, I think will be good. Okay, now all you wanna do is draw them right over the background, just like that. And to make it draw in a straight line, all you gotta do is hold the shift key, click once, and then click again, and it draws them in a perfect straight line. So we'll do there to there. Okay, and we don't want it on the wood paneling, obviously, so go ahead and pull that down to your floor layer. Okay, and we don't want black as our color either. So what we'll do is just change it to the color overlay. And for this one, we'll do maybe a, let's do like a, we'll do like an ugly green color. So like that color about right there. OK. Oh, before you click OK, change it to overlay and then change your fill down to zero. OK. That way the black is gone and the, the green is now just overlaying on top of the background. All right, click OK, click OK. OK. I'm going to go to the very top, create a new layer on top. Do your gradient tool, change it to white, make sure it's radi um, radial tool, and then we're going to draw just a small light right up here. And we don't want it that bright, so just bring it down a little bit. And then do one more layer on top of that one, and then what we're going to do here, just draw a small circle using your radial tool. Okay, so we have a circle, and then squish the circle down like that, put it on the floor right there, change it to overlay, duplicate it, and maybe not quite that bright, maybe like that. All right, and we can call that a finished Photoshop. So in just about 15 minutes, we we're able to create a nice background from scratch. Um, got a very textured wall with a realistic looking wooden texture for the floor. And then we have our wood paneling right there. So I think that could be useful for your uh, future creations. You can always uh, take an object and put it here on the floor. Just add some shadows and everything and then you have a nice background already ready for you. So I hope you learned something from this Photoshop. If you have any questions about this Photoshop or any of our other Photoshops or tutorials, please uh, contact me directly on the website. I appreciate uh, you visiting ChristianPhotoshops.com and I hope you have a great day.